we can see that if uh, if the collieries do close, uh, with every bit of collier that closes, that a bit of railroad goes. And if a railroad goes, railroad jobs go. I mean, I, I've been on the uh, railway for 35 years, and it, from what it was to what it is now, it, it's been cut by half around this area. So it, uh, we think that uh, it's time that something was done to support the miners. We we shocked at uh, how the police are. I uh, heard him people, I've been up at Charbert picket line this morning and I wasn't even allowed to walk across the road. You know, I've told you to get back in line and I'm, I'm a railway man, I only went there as an observer. I, you hear these things and uh, if you don't go, uh, you don't know first hand. But uh, it's time that, uh, I think it's time that everybody, uh, every trade union is stuck up for his rights in this country. Uh, we've had a Cheltenham job, haven't we, this year? We all had a day off for it. Well, most trade unions had a day for it. Uh, it uh, to ask a man for his union card for a thousand pound to me is, is like Judas money. Uh, I don't agree with it one bit. I mean, she's had to climb down over that, hasn't she, Maggie? Uh, and I think uh, it's time that uh, all the trade unions banded together and uh, just shown this government that we're not prepared to be uh, knocked about. Oh well, I'm not, not myself. I've been in this uh, in this job 35 years, and I want to be in it for another 15. So I mean, I'm only a young chap. I'm only just. I'm only just turned 50, so hopefully that I'll be in it another 15 years, but if, if the collar is closed, I shan't have a job, shall I? It's, it's obvious, that.